I'm just gonna keep on kind of making it, adding more with it still looking natural for the people that maybe aren't comfortable to this step. So we'll just keep going. I mean, you could stop here and call it a day. This is a really awesome natural. Like this is, I don't look like I'm breaking out. Like check me out. You know what I'm saying? It looks good. But we'll keep going so I can show you guys how to just like keep adding with still looking natural. So I'm gonna go in with the milk, lip and cheek little stick right here and I'm rubbing it on my finger and not my face because it's such a dewy product and wet it kind of picks up your foundation from underneath your skin so do not put it directly on your face because you're gonna pick up some stuff that you put down so I just put in a little bit of that and it wasn't really enough this is a really light shade but sometimes you just want to like but you shouldn't I know I shouldn't so I won't do it this is a blush duo blush duo powder and cream looks like this and it's in papaya don't peach and i'm gonna go in with the like the creamy side that's a little darker orange i just put it on my finger make it warm get it ready to get moved I said earlier this is like a um, natural look so i'm gonna be putting the blush where i would actually be blushing if i was a human being and i was blushing maybe sound like an alien but maybe i am and the little apples on my cheeks like where i smile like oh my god that guy's so cute like that blush that's what we want and I just want to kind of chill with it at that stage. So I'm going to pick up more blush though. This is the powder side and I'm going to be using a prescriptive brush. Looks like this. Going in with this orange and I'm just going to put it. So like be careful when putting stuff over all the foundation that you just laid out because you can pick up foundation and move it. And you don't want to do that because you just spent so much time making sure you were covering it all up. Let's go in and do some highlighter because I feel like when you are so natural, it's kind of dope to have like a luminosity. So I'm going to go with the Lancome Duo. I'm using a lot of Lancome for this video. I know it's the medium one, so it has this highlighter and it has this really awesome contour, but I used a lot of that already. So we're just going to use the highlighting part. And I'm just actually going to go straight from the bullet. Can you guys see what it, do you see that? It's so pretty. It's like with the most natural highlight. Okay, I'm just going to put it in the inner corner. And then you can also kind of take it here and I just use it see what that did to me it's so pretty I say this a lot I don't really mess with highlighters I only mess with the highlighters that I know I like because I'm very picky I know people are really into like strobing for the gods nowadays and like blinding people when you walk across the street and that's awesome but it's not really my scene so I like to stick to more of the natural highlight just like that is that's what I like that's totally go with me for the sake of YouTube and Instagram and YouTube trends let's put this is the Ma Manicadar Beauty bronze highlighter little duo and I'm gonna put the highlighter above my lip it's a really powerful highlighter if you pack it so but it's also really subdued if you don't want it to be subdued people are really into doing this nose highlight I'm not a fan no I can't do it I was about to try and do a nose highlighter but I literally couldn't like I just couldn't get myself to do it I don't like to highlight my nose I don't know why people like to highlight their noses it makes no sense to me if you had a good nose maybe I don't like my nose <laughs> But I guess I can try if you guys want. So let's just, I'm just going to very carefully do the middle and the bottom. That's it. No moss. I'm too scared. We can go in and contour our nose though because why not? I just kind of put, place it very minimistic, minimistically. <laughs> Minimistic? Who are you, Jenny? Are you illiterate? Probably. I'm going to go back in with this little number seven by Cosmetics and I'm just going to kind of blend that little contour I just put on my nose. Nose contour, I think everyone's biggest mistake is putting too much product. You need such a little amount to make an effect. Now I wanna go in because I can, I feel like that's always my excuse, because I can. I'm gonna go in with the Amazing Cosmetics Cover and Contour on the Go Perfection Stick in shade, I know this is the palette shade, they have fair. And I'm just gonna kinda lighten up this area. Some blush got out of hand for me. Okay, and now I'm just gonna blend it. Now we're here. And we're gonna go in and do our lips really quick. I always kinda like to do lips right in the middle of a routine. I'm not quite sure why, but I do. And we want our lips to look natural. So this is a really cool one. We're gonna be using lip color and Enchant. It's this color. It literally doesn't show up, but it makes a difference. I have no idea how, I have no idea what it, no idea. But we're gonna use it. It like barely shows up. I'll zoom. See that? It creates a shadow underneath your lip instead of a lip line, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go on the top, and that's what my lips look like. And this thing amazing, it's this color. So if you find anything that you're like, oh, that's a really light skin tone that wouldn't show up, it's weird. It makes a huge difference, and it shows up, and it just makes your lips look naturally puckered. So I'm gonna zoom you out, because I don't like them. Ah! 
I don't like being that close up to the camera. This is a this is a good length. We're gonna go in with one of my favorite natural lip shades, and this is the Viva Glam in A4 by Mac. It looks like this. I got this as a Secret Santa from this kid Colin who went to my high school. Thanks, Colin. It's weird because I didn't ask for this one. I wanted a different color, and he messed up, and he got me this one, and I love it so much more. So thank you for knowing me better than I know myself. And I went to my high school is Colin Moody. If that makes you laugh. It's just so natural and it has a shimmer in it, like a little sparkle. So it's not like a matte. I have just, I want to continue with this. Like I'm alive, I'm glowing, I'm natural. And I wanted to bring that into my lips. So that's why I used the lip shade with a shimmer in it. Let's go in and curl our lashes. Okay, so I just curled my lashes. And like I was saying earlier, I want to do this video in steps. So you could have stopped at your foundation. You could stop now. You could have stopped earlier. You know, stop. The beauty about this video is it's kind of like you can do all of this without something else. It's all just naturally thrown in there. So you can make it your own. You can stop when you want, whatever. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out when I was curling my eyelashes that I noticed and I forgot to say, if you look at my lids, they don't have creasing in them. That is because Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and the Tint Idol Ultra Wear by Lancome are the best combination of foundations. I love them. Neither of them crease a lot. Like, look at my eyelids. They don't have creases in them, which is a big deal because eyelids are constantly doing this shit. Like, they are constantly getting creased. And the fact that I didn't put any powder in there yet and they're just chilling is really really impressive and i just wanted to put that out there next um let's do i don't i like see i would walk out the door like this i think this is where i would cut it off because i'm trying not to wear mascara anymore just as much as possible because it's really bad for eyelashes so this is where i would stop it but for the sake of video let's just add and add and add until we're so natural we look unnatural that's actually like that's a good meter like parameter thing anyways no good deal. whenever i do like a natural look i've really been chilling with the kylie and the kkw palette which is just so annoying because i feel like i'm so mainstream for doing it but they're just good palettes and a lot of the palettes that i own are not natural you're not natural looking palettes because i like to do like smoky eyes and i'm just not really actually you know what f it I found a palette we can use that's not a Kylie or Kim palette. We're gonna go in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I saw this and I was like, I should use this because I know a lot of people that have this palette that aren't into makeup because it looks like this. It's so natural. A lot of you guys have this palette, so I might as well help the world. Might as well just help the whole world with my YouTube channel and use palettes that maybe more people own. So we're gonna go in with the shade back here. M6. Oh, I get it. Matte six. Creative Smashbox creative and i'm just gonna create a crease look kind of say i haven't used this palette since high school i never use this palette anymore and i like forgot it was in my drawer that's so annoying let's do like a really light crease thing i want to keep my lid highlighted and just make it a little darker where it should be just to kind of contour my eye we don't want to make it look like we have all this foundation and all this eyeshadow on especially because eyeshadow does not look good when you don't have foundation on i think eyeshadow looks very weird i feel like people always look like they were punched in the face when they don't have foundation on and they have eyeshadow on it's just like a personal thing i don't know i don't know what's up with it same brush and i'm just gonna go to the shade on top of it which is the shimmer s5 and i'm just gonna pat it on top of my lid and i'm doing this with the blending brush because i don't want it to be a harsh shimmer at all i want a very natural luminous shimmer and that's all now i'm gonna go in with a puffer brush that i have like i always call them puffer brushes that's not what they're called that's what i call them and i'm gonna go in with the middle white shade which is m4 and i'm just gonna put it on top and then i want to put it underneath i don't know why but on me I look a lot better when I have a lighter shade underneath my brow in the beginning. Sometimes I know like Kylie's makeup artist, he takes her contour and then blends it into the brow, which is cool. It's cool. I don't, you know, all depends on whose makeup we're doing. So we're going to go in with kind of this flatter, fluffy side, and I'm going to go into the top MS4 shade. I'll just put the shimmer shade underneath my brow, putting it in the beginning of my eye, just like that. I just want to stop. Like, I like it where it is. But I know for the sake of YouTube, I should just keep on going and persevere. I'm going to go in again with M6, and that's the same shade I used in my crease. I'm just going to put it underneath my eye. Again, we're just contouring our eyes. So it looks like this right now. I'm really liking it. I don't want to like, like, I kind of want to quit. Like, I just wanted to stop here. I really am enjoying this. Cute, right? And I don't even have mascara on. What's up, makeup community? What's up? 
no mascara. I went from not putting on false lashes to not even wearing mascara. I hate myself. Quite annoying. Okay, so I think we're just gonna stay here because I don't really wanna do anything else. This is so fun. This is a really cute look. So just to recap, um, it's a natural look to cover acne. You don't need to use these crazy foundations, like these crazy full coverage foundations to cover acne. For a long time there, I was using this one. I succumbed and I started using my least favorite foundation I own like every night because it's the thickest one I own because I thought it was covering my acne the best, which it was covering my acne, but this looks a gazillion times better than any look I did with this. So goodbye Tarte Tape Shape Foundation forever. I don't like you. Like you can use a 24 hour wear. First of all, 24 hour wear, okay, bet. And second of all, luminosity, okay, bet. So like, I'm pretty happy. One thing I would say, when you're doing highlighter, be careful because you never want to highlight in that piece of acne. That is mm, not flattering. Put mascara on if you want to. Don't put mascara on, don't put on blush, don't put on concealer, don't put on lipstick, I don't know. But this is it, oh. I kind of like my hair up, see? That's like, things that these looks do is they just, they make you kind of like your face more. So I really just wanted to show online, the Instagram, the web, how I create a luminous, natural, lightweight look while also covering up the stupid amount of acne I have on my face. It looks like this. And I don't think you'd ever know. And have a good day. See you later.